Okay, and you can see the sea surface temperature very significantly. Okay, and this is because of the variation of heat fluxes that you have. This is one aspect. So that's generally the temperature increases as you go towards the equator. And you can see that here we are at start of 30 degrees south, 21 degrees Celsius, and then you go uh, 30 degrees uh, north of 10 degrees south. So this is this background uh, temperature variation that you have anyway. And then near the coast, you also see some variations that are actually associated with, with currents, with boundary currents, that also influence the temperature value. And plus, you have the shallow water effect. Okay, you have a, a, variations because a shallower water can heat up faster during summertime and cool down faster during wintertime. Okay, and it sort of loosely shows you the, the, the entire uh, um, extent of the Great Barrier Reef, and you can see definitions, northern part, central part, southern part. And this one is from a previous lecture where we looked at temperature, salinity, time diagram for the, these three different reefs. So what you just need to keep in mind or just memorize or write down is actually the extent of geographical latitudes and geographical longitude because you need to enter some data onto the the online interactive um, um, the interactive uh, display the, the the graph that we use later okay so you can see we uh, the longitude ranges from 140 east to 160 east and we're going from 30 south to about 10 south. All right. Okay. So we are looking at now the um, temperature variations that we were mostly concerned with, not salinity variations, temperature variations. And here are the temperature salinity time diagrams for the three different regions, north, center, and south regions and what really only matters for this exercise on coral bleaching is the warmest temperature and what you see is here is some month indication when do you actually find the warmest temperature okay so you're looking at january and february in all regions here january february march it's already getting colder okay so this is our target. So if you look at monthly values of SST, you only need to focus on boreal summer months. And that's one thing that you learn. Okay, so now you have to choose which regions. Which regions do you use? And I just make some suggestions here on the on the next page. Is because of the variation of temperature a gradual variation as you go from south to north you should pick individual latitudes not a range but a latitude like shown here 16 degrees south to represent the northern part just use a full number to make it easy okay and I, you will see later on why why that makes sense because you can more easily read off the value we're not using any fancy uh, gas um, or other type of, of of software to to extract values we do it visually so we look at a map look at where is 16 degrees south and read off a temperature value okay and similarly 22 degrees south you can use as a reference for the sun okay you might change your mind and say I use 21 or so, or I use 20 degrees south. That's fine. Okay. What you also should do is you should look at the temperature value near the coast, because the barrier reef is located near the coast and not offshore. That's an important um, point too. All right. So let's let's start.